And go ahead and bend forward a little bit if you want to stretch it out. Wow, that's good. Yes, and reach your arms out in front of you for longer length. That's it, and let's roll up through the spine and switch sides. There you go, and spine's up straight, and another 30 seconds. And let's bend forward and reach the arms out. And if you're able to do the T stretch, you can add that now, or if you want to do it at the end of class, you can do it as well. T stretch is making a T on top. We've got various, various levels of flexibility here. At the end of the class, probably everyone will be almost down. You cross the knees at the top and you make the heels go straight across, forming the top of the T. And then if you need an extra stretch, you can always reach out forward. And of course you want to switch the legs at some point, and then you're going to reach forward the same way to get a deeper stretch for the back of your hips. So all of these stretches are hip openers. From there we'll go on to just a gentle waking up your feet, legs parallel, and we'll take flex and point one, and two, and make sure as you point, your feet are tracking in line with your tibia, which is your shin bones. Yep, and then push through the balls of your foot. You do that four, five, six, seven, eight times, whatever you like. And then we'll start circling the feet around, warming up a blood flow around your Achilles. You do one foot independently or two feet at once, whatever you want. You can go on to dawn to bury it. Getting those muscles working, getting in tune with your ankles, what's happening, maybe the back of the knees stretching. And then let's go bring our legs back to parallel. And you're going to keep your feet flexed as you reach down towards your ankles and keep your head up. So you're trying to get some stretch on the back of the calves, the hamstrings, wherever you might feel it. And the theory is that you're getting the nerves to slide along when you keep your head up. And then we're going to point your feet and bring your head down. So I sort of think of this as pointing my head so they match. And that's the more normal way we would do it as a dancer. And then we're going to repeat, flex and come up. Take a nice breath, deep into the belly and exhale longer than we're breathing in. And enjoy the stretch. You can do this as long as you need. And then we'll roll back up and put our hands to our sides as we turn out the legs. And now we're just gonna activate the lower abs a bit, the transverse abdominis. Try to get your little toes on the floor as you rotate and you pick up your right leg and one, two, and down, two, and one, two, and down, two, and up, two, and down, two, and down, da, 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 and finish. Thank you, ladies.